It is a life-saving decision more people need to start making. Today, Michigan Secretary of State Ruth Johnson kicked off Donate Life Month, encouraging people to become organ donors. Tonight, our Paula Tubman introduces us to people waiting for that ultimate gift. They call it the gift of life, but it's also the gift of health. This is Amelia, and she needs your help for the gift of health. If you've ever doubted the power of organ donation, listen to the laughter of three-year-old Amelia from Royal Oak. And then look into the tearful eyes of her mother. I want to ask them, would they take a life-saving organ if needed? So why not register? Why not help somebody out who needs? You can be a hero. You can save a life. You can save my daughter Amelia's life, who's three. So, yeah. Most of us are born with two kidneys. Amelia was born with one, and it was a bad one. It's not a good one. It's just functioning at 15%. Amelia's dad is a perfect match, but his kidneys are bad too. He's not a donation candidate. And so mom, Jessica, went into a transplant exchange program and donated one of her healthy kidneys to a family in exchange for a match for Amelia. But then that kidney failed. I didn't have time to mourn all that. Um, I woke up, I didn't even have time to rest myself after donating my kidney and I'm waking up to the doctor and my husband standing over me and I'm like, what happened? And they're like, we're so sorry. Back to her one bum kidney. Now Amelia needs another transplant and it'll have to come from a stranger and the time is running out to keep this little girl off of dialysis and in the running for a healthy organ transplant. She's like a ticking time bomb. Um, like one stomach flu can send her over and we could be entering dialysis. Amelia was the star of the show when Secretary of State Ruth Johnson made yet another plea for people to not only become organ donors but to get tested just in case they can be a living donor. We went from one of the worst states in the nation in 2011 at 27 percent. We're almost at 59 percent today. So we have more to go. We have 3,501 people on the waiting list waiting for that life-saving telephone call. Kathy certainly understands the importance. A kidney transplant returned her to health last year. But every time the phone rang, you would think my heart would go up into my throat. You'd think you were receiving that precious call, my lifeline to hope. My mom is 90, and I said, Mom, it's a passion. Would you sign up? She said, there isn't anything I got anybody would want. But to tell you the truth, our, we had two donors over 100 years old, so you're never too old. But Amelia still waits while her mother prays just, I'm so that you broken. will call. What are you doing? Paula Tutman, Local 4. You see that? So important. I love the fact they brought it. No matter your age, you can make donations. And, and so much good. Remember, Dr. McGeorge did a story just a little while ago. One donor saved two people. Right. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. just so, ma so many benefits there. Yeah.